हेलो एवरीवन सो नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग ऑन विद द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द लास्ट लेक्चर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दैट इज योर बिग डेटा ओके सो ओनली वी आर लेफ्ट विद फ्यू पॉइंट्स एंड देन वी आर डन विद आवर टॉपिक क्लियर सो व्हाट इज द पॉइंट इज ऑल अबाउट द पॉइंट इज ऑल अबाउट इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बिग डेटा एंड डेटा साइंस टू इन्वेस्टमेंट मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेशन मीन्स हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई दिस एप्लीकेशन मीन्स हाउ वी कैन apply this in our day to day life in the financial risk management or investment management clear number 1 is your test analytics number 1 is your test text analytics number 2 is your natural language processing natural language processing natural language processing third is risk governance third is risk governance risk governance fourth is algorithmic algorithmic trading algo trading we call it as algo trading these are the four applications of big data and data science in investment management now let us understand this text analytics means you are reading a book and you are counting that a certain word or a phrase how many times it is coming in the whole book okay or uh, you can see like uh, in suppose you have uploaded a video on the youtube okay suppose there is a mo new movie coming up and they have posted a trailer on the youtube now everyone is commenting some will say excellent someone will say must watch someone is like uh, not good enough uh, so everyone will give their own reviews so now what we'll do the system will pick up all the uh, comments and they will now analyze it the keywords keywords like good bad excellent uh, good trailer i like it i'll go i'll watch and they will accordingly give the ratings and they will understand that that okay how this movie is going to perform in the theaters so we call this as a text analytics where you are going to understand the text or the voice clear and uh, in case of uh, investments how you are going to analyze it see every company will issue their uh, financial statements every year okay now uh, there are thousands of companies issuing their financial statement now it is very difficult for you to read it every time so now what you will do you will upload it on your system system will read it and they will give you the decision that okay this is the financial statements look like and this is my outcome that whether should i invest my money in this or not clear so we call this as a text analytics clear or uh, suppose uh, your computer program is reading a news article about a company means there is a company which posted their uh, results and based on that result there is a blogging company they have posted a uh, article now in that article you will see that uh, how they have mentioned it whether the prospect is good or not profit is rising or decreasing they have the debt increased or decreased so accordingly it helps to understand that uh, view point about the company whether it is positive or whether it is negative clear we call this as a text analytics second is our natural language processing means over here computers are learning to under understand and interpret the human language like reading the text or listening to the speech you can consider the example of siri and alexa okay they use the concept of natural language processing they understand your voice command similarly in finance a program may read the emails or report to check if the employees are following the rules or to catch any changes in the market sentiments everything will be considered and uh, thorough checked by the natural language processing see every so many things are going around you and you cannot keep track of everything means uh, you are invested heavily in the oil sector okay suppose a news came in the usa regarding that they are going to uh, increase the supply of the oil the oil price will fall and hence it can trigger a loss to you so you have to be so much attentive everywhere around the globe with all the possible information and human cannot do it so for that you need this systems which actually focus on each and everything they will understand the sentiments with some words keywords that they will be going to increase the supply and hence this means that the price will fall and if you are in the long position you are going to have the loss clear so this natural language processing is basically a artificial intelligence system to interpret the human languages 
clear now third point is risk governance basically you are keeping an eye on different types of risk that a business could, uh, could face and uh, making the plans to deal with them so uh, if i'll give you an example a bank using a computer program to simulate the situation like a sudden drop in the share market or rise in the customer who cannot pay back their roles uh, loans rise in the interest rate fall in the interest rate so this will help the bank to prepare for such and such situations clear apart from that uh, what is the exposure of the bank in the wide varieties of uh, business segment means like if i'll give you an example about a bank they are involved in the banking they are involved in the corporate banking they are involved in insurance they are involved in investment banking so so many uh, verticals are there so you have to identify that what is the exposure of risk for that particular bank then uh, financial regulators they are also required to perform risk assessment and stress testing see all these things you will study at the later stage but uh, you will get some brief idea scenario analysis that if the interest rate will rise or if the gdp will fall what will happen if so and so people will default if the default percentage is uh, 10% what will happen clear uh, there are some other uh, techniques to identify the risk might be they are calculating the value at risk might be they are calculating the coherent risk measure expected shortfalls so so many things are going on but again a human cannot do all these things they have a dedicated systems okay they are uh, collecting the data from the market then they are using the data in the modeling testing the risk and accordingly firm will use the real time data to monitor the risk exposure real time data means now something had happened what will happen uh, what will be its impact on the bank what will be its impact on the business what will be uh, its impact on the uh, particular sector clear we call this as a risk governance with the help of our systems clear now coming to the fourth point is the algo trading algo trading means basically you are using the computer program to buy or sell the stocks based on certain rules certain patterns like if i'll give uh, the indicate indicator to the system that if the share price will fall by 5% you go and buy the stock you go and buy the stock so i don't have to do anything i have just given the command that if the price will fall by 5% you have to buy it why i am not doing it because if i will do it now i might take time and in share market you know that in few seconds the price may rise a lot or the price may fall a lot so this is actually faster than humans okay and this can be more accurate means while uh, in a hurry suppose i want to buy 100 shares what if i'll type uh, 1000 clear so even the mistakes will be less and it will be quicker as compared to the humans clear but this algo trading uh, rules will be defined by the humans clear that on what situation on what parameters you have to buy the stocks clear so if there is a large order then you can use the algo trading to determine that how you are going to divide the large buy of stocks according to the historical volume average and they will do the trading and if there is a high frequency trading okay in that situation also you can use the algo trading clear so we have completed our topic in the most easiest manner we have divided the topic into multiple parts and we have taken some easy to understand uh, examples like i i did not even entered into the concept i just taken some examples like the example of fish the example of cats so that something which you can relate it off okay and you can remember it for a longer period of time okay and most importantly my focus was not on learning it memorizing it plus the contextual understanding is also very important the step by step guidance is there clear so once you finish all these lectures you are well versed with the topic and you can solve the questions okay so i am ending the lectures here thank you